Hi everybody, um, my name is Debbie Tussie and many people have asked for a video. I tried and failed, I'm gonna try again, but I promised the lady today that I would disassemble this latest box and show how I used all 33 feet of the LED lights, plus the little, um, let me turn it on here. The front trees are actually a separate set and they are, let me get them on, I thought I turned them on. Well, you just can't see them. It's a single set of like the six foot six fairy lights, just the simple fairy lights. So, here we go. Forgive me, cause I'm not good at this and I hate being on film. But let me turn this down this way and hopefully you can see, let me move my bottle of water. My, my craft room is a complete disaster right now, or I would show you that. I'll clean it next week when I get home. Um, here's one thing, these big battery packs, the command strips just do not work. And I come across the Scotch extra heavy duty something, I can't even read it without my glasses. Um, extremely strong and it works great for the bigger battery packs. I still use the command strips on the small ones but I'm gonna lift it out. And I just sporadically laid these. I taped in one spot to kind of hold them up. And that is the excess of what I didn't use in the files. Let me, I should have got my tools ready, but I didn't lift this up. I just taped the corners of that back page to try to kind of keep them in place. And I have to move this to this side. I used vellum for the very back layer because I wanted all the light I could to come through. For my sky layer, that's just vinyl stuck to um, this plastic poster board. Um, and I cut a circle out and just used scotch tape and taped it and just stuck the vinyl itself to the back for the windows in the, in the, um, I've already lost track for, for the windows in the house. I didn't go through the trouble of attaching it to this or anything. And I'll show you this barcode again. I hope it'll come in where you can see it. But I find this at Michael's and it comes in the regular poster board size. This is just scraps that I've got left over where I've been working with it. And then this last sheet is actually that poster board with the shimmer vinyl. And I just adhere it. I cut about a half an inch or an inch bigger than the size I'm using. Then I cut the vinyl just slightly larger because I can never ever line it up right. Stick it to it and make the cut in poster, the poster board setting. And then here's where the other lights are from my 33 feet because I wanted light in certain areas. So I just use tape. I've tried Zots and I used tape before, but I was hoping there was something else. I spoke with a friend yesterday and she uses tape. So I just went ahead and went with all tape because the Zots, it can, tends to pop loose after a while. But I just wanted a little light there. Let me turn these on so you can see as I go. And then I just, the separation, is really a personal choice how thick because I just use the thin stuff I think that's like a quarter inch from Hobby Lobby and this one is a half an inch for and it's weather stripping that I get from um, Amazon and it's on sale right now for $3.99 a roll and if you want the link just send me a zip and, or a message and I'll send that out and then you keep going and I decided to put a few lights on the back of the tree to add just a little shimmer. And that's another thin spacing. The spacing, that's just however you see it, how you wanna make it. You can um, try different things, not, cause I don't peel the second layer and stick everything together. I know a lot of people tape everything together, but I tend to make so many mistakes that it ends up ruining my files. So I don't tape anything. This is another thinner, it's uh, weather stripping from, I think I got this at Ace True Value. It's real foamy. Um, can you, I hope you can see that there. 
I feel like I'm talking way too fast. So I'm sorry, I do get nervous. I, I don't like being on film. And then the very front layer, let's see if you can see it. That's just the little fairy lights and I just taped them to the back of the tree. Just bend the wire however you need it. And then pulled it across the bottom. That's where you get that little extra green right behind the kids. Um, that just happened to be the color behind them. And then I just put it all back in. Kind of squish it in once everything's in there. The, the wires can be a little bit cumbersome. your back layer back over. By the way, on this back layer, sometimes I was telling someone earlier, sometimes I will only cut like, uh, do a lighter pressure where I can peel this part off and the back, the clear plastic is actually still there. So I just pull off the little pieces of vinyl and then I've still got that separation to hide the wires and diffuse the light a little bit. But this time I chose not to do that, but it is an option. Stick these back in. I always say they're so pretty on the outside, but there's quite a bit of ugly on the inside when you actually get in there and see it. My tapes come off, let me find a little piece of tape. And again, I just, for these, sometimes I take my time and I, I line it up and put it however I think it needs to be and I tape it everywhere. But sometimes it works to just pull them apart, stick a little tape. And then on these, I'm not even going to tape. I'm just gonna let the pressure of the panel hold them in place. Mash that down, and before I close it all up, I check it, and there it is. I wish you could see it when I've got them turned off. There it is. So, I don't care at all answering any questions that you have. If I'm able to answer them, I'm happy to. Zip me a, a message. Um, I don't know if we're even allowed to say that on some of these groups, so I apologize, admin, if, if that's not allowed, but send me a message on whatever group this is posted on, and I'm happy to help. Thanks. Bye.